In this short screencast, we're going to look at bibliographies. So the very basics of a bibliography, the first thing is to know is, is where it will um, sit in your work. And it sits at the end of your work and also after the list of illustrations. So it's the final thing um, in your thesis or essay or whatever it is um, you're submitting. I think the second thing, important point to make, is about the order. So a bibliography is arranged A to Z, and that arrangement starts with what appears at the very start of the reference. So we start by the surname of authors and then the initial. If, if we had two things by the same author with the same initial, then we would go to the title um, and, and go from there. And one thing to note is that Things like TV programs, radio shows, films, games, they will often, um, if you follow the UCA Harvard Referencing Guide, the, the title of those will appear in at the start of the reference, like you can see on the screen here with Le Maison on Petit Cubes. So that will go into our A to Z list um, in the same way that Deleuze will go into our A to Z list. So the only other point to kind of make with bibliographies is that um, they, well, they have to contain everything that you've referenced in the text as you've written your essay. Some tutors will ask you to include all of the other texts that you've read related to the topic that you haven't referenced. Others will have slightly different opinions on that. But generally, you're not going to get extra marks for adding lots of things that you've looked at or haven't looked at, but haven't actually referenced. So the main thing is to get everything you've referenced in the bibliography, because all of your references in the text need to tie up with your bibliography.